strategies to avoid menopausal weight gain. Postmenopausal or perimenopausal symptoms keep on coming up. Uh, and probably it is one of the main area of focus for Western practitioners. Uh, so during menopause, weight gain happens. How can one balance it with natural processes? Uh, so that is one question. And uh, you know, how to maintain bone health? So let's concentrate on only, only the obesity and bone health. Uh, do you have any uh, guidelines, please, sir? Very clearly, until unless we don't restrict the intake of energy or food, we are not going to curtail the body weight. And it, it, it has been observed that only a supportive mechanism will you know, initiate a trigger off after the menopause. But basic supportive thing is the, what, the way they are consuming the food. The way they are consuming the food in the same manner, they are not spending it. So spending should be equivalent to the way the amount of energy they are consuming it. So if that part is taken care of, automatically they do not go into uh, gain the weight. And the gaining of a weight postmenopausal is basically due to errant way of eating. And of course it is supported by the system because there is a craving, there is a um, irritability or uh, there is a pressure and even uh, even she is also feeling that I am getting old and uh, menopause and all these things high in and hormonal changes and a lot of issues will be there. Heart flushes to overcome that she may start eating more. So, so many factors are there. If whatever the amount you eat it accordingly, you expand it by your physical activity or burn it out. If you could able to burn it out that content, then automatically the weight gain part will be taken care of. Uh, many a times I use, asked uh, some of my patients, many a times they say that we are controlling on all these things, but still we are putting on the weight. Then I ask them, see, I am not purchasing the sand. I am not purchasing the cement. I am not purchasing the um, uh, iron. I am not purchasing the brick. But still able to construct a house and house and many, many floors. So how could it be possible? There should be some material which is you know, suitable for construction. So if your body is gaining weight means there is some basic material which is required for the gain of weight. It is something which you are giving from the food. First thing is curtailing on the part of taking food. That portion if it is not controlled then the weight gain management is Whatever the medicine you give, it won't work out. My my strategy has been like, especially if the client is coming back 40 years, still there are like four or five years for menopause. I try to, you know, make them ready for it and you know, ask them to cut down on, uh, you know, uh, chats or junk foods. I'm making them to undergo uh, oil massage at least once a week so that the joints and, and all are take care even the stress, exercise and diet. And if, if the need be ashwagandha or brahmi to keep the stress level and you know to have an emotional balance and guglu and triple and such herbs in a way to kind of make them bring bring into a disciplined lifestyle which they might may, may not be following in their 20s and 30s is is that a good strategy sir no definitely that is a good strategy there is no harm in not doing all those things but the thing is that why they develop stress very simple thing their body and mind is not ready to accept the things which is happening naturally. If you are getting older and older, accept it gracefully. Everybody has to get old and everybody has to have the tissue damage, everything. Our intention is only to keep on our energy even at the damaged tissues or weakened tissues even that time. So that is the only thing. And to overcome that, what we can do is that all oil massaging and doing dhyana, pranayama, reducing the stress, walking regularly, trying to maintain the body weight according to Anjali Pramana and Anguli Pramana, what and all been, been, been given a lot of things and nowadays maintaining the body weight is not a big thing. There are plenty of uh, protocols being laid down. We need to just to control on the intake part. That's the only way we are very, you know, people say that how can I cut down and if I cut down I will feel hungry and feel headache and I feel so many things, I feel giddy uh, and that's why I eat it. Then when you eat it, you can walk it, walk it out and uh, reduce it. The energy has to go out. When you take an energy, you need, that energy has to be utilized. Otherwise, definitely it will go to stay in your body permanently. So that is the basic area where you need to cut on and the next part of the bone maintenance bone health maintenance i preferably go with uh, 
two cups of milk per day that will be sufficient enough to give the the calcium requirement and even the binding agent requirement and exposing our selves to sun for the purpose of vitamin d and all those things and regularly applying oil abhyanga and all those things definitely will help to maintain the bone health to larger extent and also uh, ayurvedic supplements with calcium like pravalosma and shankabasma lakshadi gugulu would be helpful see all those are definitely helpful but until unless the agni to dissolve those things and absorb them is not there inside whatever you give the as a supplement it will be waste first we need to improve the agni so how to improve the agni of um, particularly the asti if you want to improve the agni of the asti then we need to give tiktaka grutas tiktaka grutas in small quantities will increase the agni of the particularly with asti and majjhagata srotasas so when such type of drugs have been consumed tiktaka grutas and such type of things in a small doses definitely they will be and then applying oil walking doing some exercises definitely that will keep on improve the agni of the srotasas of particularly with asti and uh, majja then accordingly if you give some supplement like uh, pravada shankha varatika kapardika and these type of things in the form of basma or then um, give it in the form of uh, oil massage to improve the condition and tonicity of the muscles definitely it will going to help so it is better if you combine all these things in a protocol then then only it will be good and of course i suggest only two glass of milk per day that is sufficient enough to give uh, the required quantity of uh, calcium to the person in an adult and uh, of course if there is any person who is um, you know having some taboo or problem with good what to do then there is a problem issue then we can go for some other alternatives like pravada basma mukta basma something like that you are very right in saying that you know without the agni especially asti dhatu agni being lit mm. or be, being optimal you know any amount of calcium supplement would not be good probably the modern medicine system is also waking up to that that we have seen previously there was just calcium supplement like oral calcium so and so mg now also they they are trying to mix it with like calcitrin and vitamin d supplement and and, and, all, and all those things so because just when the agni is not there any medicine to uh, any medicine given to improve bone especially the calcium supplement alone might not work definitely instead of working it causes a damage see our intention in those patients the intention of giving that outside the elemental calcium or el- chemical calcium and such type of things their intention is to give uh, calcium but and thinking that that calcium will go on the settle in uh, the places where it is uh, decayed or where there is uh, osteoporosis or osteomalacia uh, something like that so where there is asthik shaya so those places only it will go on settle but unfortunately we have seen that people are using without uh, knowing how to use it and um, how much to use it as doctor prescribed and they are continuously using it for many many years and ultimately they have found that this calcium is going to settle in the coronary arteries um, causing a blockage so then uh, instead of uh, doing something good it is doing bad so we should, we need to be very cautious in that uh, even the supplement also how much supplement has to be taken this particular type of this supplement that's why swasthahita ahara whatever it is been said in ayurveda and one which is uh, advised to take regularly like nitya rasayana what is said by shishruta that is uh, dukta and uh, grita these two are very important if these things are consumed properly accordingly then the things will be right in a right way otherwise simply giving uh, some uh, supplementation from the outside may not solve our problem and it may even go in a worse direction and may settle somewhere else and cause another problem how beautifully they have, they have said nitya chira agrata byaso rasayana nam it, it's so wonderful and and you know, ghee is also again related with the vitamin d absorption keeps the skin health well which again leads to good uh, vitamin d absorption and all